Assalamu alaikum. As per our discussion last time also, and I posted it again, and uh, uh, I'm planning to do some questions on light. This is a series of working for mock, uh, sorry, midterm. Uh, majority midterms are starting by end of November or start of December. So can you people can give me a feedback again that uh, uh, when you people are having your mocks, uh, I'm sorry, midterm. First week of, hmm, achha, second week, oh. Light is a very important topic, but before starting, I want to ask again that uh, uh, you people are having this because every school, normally schools cover everything. When they say midterm of class 11, they technically mean everything which they have uh, class 9, class 10, class 11 work by now. Uh, some schools are not giving, some schools are not giving space physics because they haven't done it. But many schools are giving uh, till, I think so, uh, many schools are giving uh, till nuclear. So you people have to give me a feedback also that uh, uh, are you people having... Uh, light in your in your midterm. Right. Uh, Asad, what's your feedback? Light is coming in your school exam? Everything produces an image in front of it. So if a, uh, where does the boy sees the girl's image? The girl is standing at this position. So the boy will see the image of the girl in front of the position of the girl. Image always comes where you are standing. Image always come in the position, in the, in the location, just in front of you. So what should be the answer of this first question? Read the first question.
it should be a why it should be a actually image is always visible where you are standing image is always produced in front of your position image doesn't move because if suppose you are standing in front of a mirror suppose if you are standing in front of a mirror your image will come in front of you Look at this. This is the way image is produced. This is how this image is produced. This is how. This is the famous ray diagram. So image is seen the where the person is standing in front of it. So this uh, will see the image there. The ray of light go like this and then it come like this. The second question is on refraction. I haven't discussed this topic, so I want to show you directly this working because presently we are doing a crash type of course. A ray of light is traveling. So remember this concept, lighter to denser, a wave bend towards the normal and denser to lighter, a wave bend, denser to lighter, Denser to lighter, a wave always bend away from the normal. A ray of light is incident on one side of a rectangular glass block. Its path is plotted through the block and out through another side. Which path is not possible? Remember this concept. Lighter to denser, bend towards the normal. And denser to lighter, bend away from the normal. What is the mistake in part number B? When the light is leaving the position of the glass, it is bending towards the normal. This is wrong. Remember the rule. I repeat the rule. Lighter to denser, bend towards the normal. And denser to lighter, it bends away from the normal. So here, this is denser. And this is lighter. Now, I have explained that concept and now you people have to do this question. I'm just coming. Uh, you have to solve this question, this MCQ.
Now, give your feedback. Um, what is true for real images formed by converging lenses? When a converging lens is used, uh, real image is what? Which is really, which is produced by the actual intersection of light rays. A real image is that, what is a converging lens? A converging lens is actually a converging lens. A converging lens is thicker from the center and thinner on the edges. Uh, the images are invert. What is true? What, what is true for real images from by the converging lens? The image is always inverted. They are on the same side of the lens as the object. Uh, this is only a one case that can never be shown on a screen. Real images are always shown on the screen. They cannot be seen by the human eye. That doesn't make any sense. Otherwise, if you can't see them, then obviously the purpose of the lens will be over. I have shared a PDF uh, showing the image formations, uh, image formation from a lens. And again, it would be ideal if you can, uh, if you view that PDF, it contains some image diagrams. I'm drawing a, I'm drawing a figure. I want you people to draw with me. It will be a good memory. This is the lens. So when you place an object anywhere, when you place an object anywhere, suppose I place, an object here. This is the object, okay? Then, lenses are studied we always talk about an optical center we talk about a position f and if you people draw this with me it will be a type of revision now copy this with me Now, I'm taking the first ray. This is the first ray. This is the first ray. It hits the lens and pass through the focus always. The first ray always passes through the focus. Look at this. This is the first ray. Copy this ray with me. Second ray, this is the 
always passes through the optical center. This is the second ray. This is the second ray. Second ray goes straight. Second ray goes straight like this. Now, this is the image, the red one. This is the object. This is the image. Image is real inverted. Diminished. Remember that in this diagram, the letter F means focus. The letter O means Optical center. So please copy this. So Converging lenses are always making, so converging lenses are always making a real image. Only one case is there when it doesn't make the real image. Otherwise, it always making a real image. This is called a convex lens. So I have practiced here with you. Uh, I have practiced uh, a ray diagram, which is the most important feature of this chapter, lenses. Ray diagram is the most important feature. Now, look at this question. That an image is formed in a plane mirror. Remember, the image from a plane mirror is always in always virtual. And you people have to solve this. I'm just coming from Namaz, and you people have to solve this question. There is a short Namaz break. If any one of you also want to pray, you can go for it. And we are rejoining in a few minutes back. When the class is 15 minutes extended for this time gap. An image is formed in a plane mirror. So if you people have solved it, angle of the, the law behind it, angle of reflection, angle of incidence is always equal of to angle of reflection. This is the plane mirror theory.
angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So if the two angles are equal, W will be equal to X. Uh, as the ray is coming, this is angle I, this is angle R. Angle I is equal to angle R. When he says D naught is equal to D1, the distance D1, they are always equal. Uh, when you stand in front of a mirror, your separation from the mirror is always the same as your image in the mirror. The separation distance does not change. So you have to look at this working. And now this question comes. Now look at this question. A ray of light enters a glass block at an angle of incidence I, producing an angle of refraction. Light is moving from lighter to denser. It's moving from lighter to denser. So several different values of I and R are measured. The formula is here. N is equal to sine I upon sine R. And a graph is drawn of sine I against sine R. Remember, angle I is always greater than angle R. Why? Because light bends towards the normal when it bends, when it moves from lighter to denser. You have to look at this option, look at the options and give me the right op possible right answer. Okay, Asad is saying it's A. Other people can also inform. When light is moving from lighter to denser, they always, the light rays always bend towards the normal. Angle I is greater than angle R. What is N? N stands for refractive index. N stands for refractive index. Remember, angle I is greater than angle R. The ratio is constant. N is a constant. N is a constant. Now, uh, I want to discuss the idea that why I'm selecting A, because angle I is greater than angle R, so the graph will be more towards sine I. Why the graph is a straight line? Because the ratio is constant. It's a constant gradient function. So N should be a straight line. So the option is A. Now, look at this question. 
a student starts to draw a ray diagram for an object at O near a thin converging lens, but it's not sure whether the image is formed at X or at F. The rays are spreading out. The rays are spreading out. Now you have to give this answer, number 22. C. Yes, Asad, your answer for this. I have extended the rays behind. If I have extended the rays behind, I will get a virtual image. This is a virtual image. The image does not form on the other side, image is formed on the same side as the object. This is a virtual image. So the answer is D. This question is about prism. Which diagram correctly shows the dispersion of light? What is dispersion of light? When white light passes through a prism, it breaks into seven colors. This is called dispersion. Uh, dispersion occurs whenever white light passes through a prism. Red color deviate less, least, and violet color deviate the most. Red color deviate the least and violet color deviate the most, dispersion is actually occurring when the light changes the medium. So 23, you have to give your option. Red color deviate the least. A is wrong because the light does not, A and D are wrong. 
because the light does not disperse after the prism. As soon as light enters the prism, it begins to disperse. Dispersion occurs as soon as light leaves the enters the prism. The diagram shows a patient having her eyes tested. A chart with letters on it is placed behind her and she sees the chart reflected in a plane mirror. Remember, light travels some distance before reaching the eye. Light is coming from the behind and uh, the distance light travel will be the distance you see it in the mirror. So now you have to read this question and you have to answer this. Now, now try this question. The distance traveled by the light is the distance the observer will feel. The distance traveled by the light is 2 plus 2 plus 3. In which diagram is the path of the light ray not correct? Now, this is a technical question. Uh, the Remember the rule, when light travels from denser to lighter, it bends away the normal. So, A is right. When light enters at 90 degree, it does not bend. When light enters a medium at 90 degree, it does not bend. 
when light enters at 90 degree, it does not bend. That is why if 90 degree entry is bending, it will be wrong. This is not correct. So why D is the answer? Light is entering here at 90 degree. The concept says, <clears throat> what is the concept? The concept says light does not bend. When it enters a medium at 90 degree. So look at this working. A lens forms a blurred image of an object on a screen. How can the image be focused on the screen? The, when you take a picture from a mobile camera, even then you know this concept, you have to move the mobile forward and backward or up or down, and you can move it. The image is actually sharp when it is when the rays are intersecting. So if you move the screen on the intersection point, you can get a sharp image. Now, attempt this question. By using the lens of longer focal length at the same position, 
Remember when the rays meet at a point, that point is called focus. So presently, the rays are not meeting on the screen. Other options do not fit. Otherwise, I could have moved the screen. But if I get the chance of moving the screen towards the focus, I will get a sharp image. The diagram shows a child using a periscope to look at an object on the other side of a wall. The diagram shows a correctly drawn ray of light from the object. Periscope is that of uh, apparatus which is used by submarines a lot. And you can observe something from the lower or higher position. Um, it is a very fairly common sense style question. You have to look at the arrows. Now you have to try to attempt this question. Okay, B is a suggested answer. Now, he has a problem. How the ray of light can emerge from the eye? Human eyes do not release light. Light comes from an object, that's fine. So lights, the uh, human eye cannot emit light. Huh, it is either A, it is either A or C. The way the, uh, the child is standing straight, as the child is standing very straight, then Option should be C. He's standing very straight. What happens to light as it passes from glass into air? What happens when light passes uh, glass into air? This is a concept to discuss as a concept here. 
when light travels denser to lighter frequency no change frequency no change lambda increases Look at this rule. Remember this rule. Answer is there, but important thing is the rule. Remember the rule. Now look at this question. Light rays are deviated by a prism. The deviation angle D is measured for light rays of different frequency, including blue and red. Remember, red deviate the least. Now you have to answer this. The deviation angle D made for light rays of different frequencies. Now remember, red deviate the least. So blue and D angle of deviation. So for red color, D will be less. And for blue color, D will be high. So blue should be on the higher position. Red should be on the lower position. Frequency wise. Now this is a tricky part. Remember that frequency of red is less than frequency of blue. Lambda of red is greater than lambda of blue. Achha, angle of deviation is inversely proportional to wavelength. If wavelength is high, deviation is less.
This is the link. P is proportional to one of Now select your answer. Uh, remember that blue and red. So the frequency of red is less than blue. Frequency of red is less than blue. So A cannot be the answer. B cannot be the answer. Red should come first. Now C and D. Red deviate more than blue. D. Look at D. Red deviate more. Red has smaller wavelength, greater deviation. Red has greater deviation and lower, lower frequency. So, anyways, we have stopped here, and we have done. We have done some questions for practice. So, we will inshallah continue this in our next class. Allah Hafiz.